Hello YouTube and welcome. This is going to be a video on how to make a stop motion racetrack because obviously I have now decided that I will be making a series of these cars. So what you obviously need is some paper or cardboard or whatever. I'm, I'm using paper. You will also need obviously some cards, obviously a pencil, a ruler, and some pens to outline the lines. So, well that, this is going to be Daytona, so I'm just going to sort of make it look like a curve, so I don't know what to draw around. There we go. Okay. And I'm, like, I'm using four bits of A3 paper. Because I reckon, obviously, A3 will be good. So you have a lot more space for the cars. Anyway. Let's start. I'm going to try and start with the drawing, with the cars on the tracks, so and then... It's all free wide. Obviously, you'd want a sharp pencil because it may sound stupid, but it's logical. Yeah, the curve, your curves may not be perfect sometimes. I don't know if you can see that yet, but obviously there's a curve there. And also what I'm probably, what I'm planning to do is put, make it double-sided. So put two tracks, put one track on one side, then another track on the back of it. Yeah, that's good enough. Also, what you want to do when you're measuring this is you want to try and make sure that the cars are equally spaced apart from them as in, from each other. And you got to try and for it to be accurate, you got to try and be as equal away as possible. Look, that they're quite equal away from each other, so that's good. Yeah, like I said, just just don't worry that much if the track. Yeah, I've just rotated the tracks and it's got a longer back stretch. Anyway, as I was saying, just don't worry if it's not completely accurate because you, you can always try and make it as accurate as you can later on. So, yeah, this may end up running into a two part, I'm not sure. So now the turn has got to be a bit wider. So then there's equal space. Because if there's no equal space, you're going to end up having a car always running around on the wall, which you don't really... which obviously you don't want because then that will prove that your track is too thin. Now what I'm doing around the outer bit of the curve is spacing it out again so they're wider off onto the back stretch. And when you're also 
doing the straight straights, you can just do like a rough sketch and then afterwards use a ruler to um, make it obviously more straight and accurate. So Because you can't always expect to get an accurate first try because, well if you do get an accurate first try, then obviously good job, but you can't really keep on expecting to get an accurate first try. Is it See that now, let's grab another car, now my back. Now the back stretch is wide enough for four cars, which would be good, but not necessarily great because then you'd have less space here. So I'm going to make it three wide. So there we go. Three wide. Nice. I'd say, to be honest, I'd say it's better three wide. Because four wide would look good, but it'd also look a bit. I wouldn't say it wouldn't. It wouldn't look great as well. So. Anyways, and now measuring the other corner. Bring the cars forward a bit. Yeah, this may end up running into like a two part or possibly a three part. But yeah. Let's focus on this bit for now. Make it a bit wider again for more space. What you want to do is you want to make the t turns wider and straight so then you know that you're going to get cars down there that will fit because if they're like that thin, like the cars, and if you're just doing it like that, doing the corner, double the width of a car, you will obviously you won't have room for the third car and then to be honest it would look a bit, a bit weird and so yeah when you get to the center of the turn that's probably where you want to make it the that's going to be where you want to make it the widest and we have got some other cars here so we will move them out of the way I don't know why I got nine cars out, just guess use one for each third of the track, but oh well. Anyway. There we go. So now that we've got the inside bit done, you want to make the curve a bit thinner because we're heading back onto the straight. And as I've already just said, you want to make it thinner but not too thin because then nothing can fit down the um, curve. See here we are, we're heading back into the curve and just maintain the similar width throughout the whole track. 
which is good, obviously. Very good. So yeah, I'll get back to you, and when it's done. Okay, it's done. I've done the, um, it's just, it was only a little bit, but... Yeah, um, now that it's three wide throughout the whole track, I guess I could say if there's like a pit, obviously there's going to be a pit lane down here because it's Daytona and yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess that might fit like five or six cars. That's going to be the one little problem, will be how many cars to go in per pit box, so, yeah, this is the end of part one, there will definitely be a second part, so, see you then I guess.